Getting set for the opening kickoff here tonight between the Clarence Red Devils and the Frontier Falcons from Clarence High School in Clarence, New York. Good evening, everybody. John Kruba going to take you through the Section 6 matchup between the Red Devils and Falcons. Frontier won the opening coin toss, and they will elect to receive first. Clarence debuted away downfield left to right. So settle back and enjoy this one, folks. About set to get underway. Kick is in the air, and we are underway towards the near side of the field. Falcons across the 20, taking it far side and gets stood up there immediately and dragged backwards across the frontier 18-yard line. That is a great coverage there by Clarence to open up the game. So for Frontier, they're back deep in their own territory at their own 18-yard line. We'll get a look at their offense for the first time today. And a name to keep an eye on is going to be number 34, Hayden Carter. He rushed for three touchdowns last time out and 147 yards in the win against Hutch Tech. Suzuki, the quarterback, he'll break the huddle for the Falcons. He's going to set up under center with two receivers split out wide to the left. Four down linemen for Clarence. The snap, handoff right up the middle, and they will fight their way forward. Pickup of about three on the play, and it'll be second and seven. That's something Frontier likes to do. They really like to establish the ground game early, and we'll see if they can do it against this tough linebacking core for the Red Devils. Clarence has been very good defensively early on as they've allowed just 31 points over their first two games with a record of 1-1. One and one. Frontier again going to go under center for the second straight play. Three receivers bunched to the left. Tight end in motion. They'll flip it far side, but not a whole lot of room there to go as he'll be wrapped up and taken out of bounds immediately after a pickup of about two on the play. Just underway here from Clarence High School. John Gruba taking you through this. Frontier with the football first, already looking at an early third down and about five here. Falcons breaking the huddle against Suzuki from under center. One receiver wide left and two flanked right. The snap, another handoff, far side, up across the 30, fighting his way and may have gotten enough for the first. We'll have to see where they spot it. Clarence so far doing a nice job just being sure of the tackles. They've gotten a lot of help. We mentioned their linebacking core is one of the best here in Section 6. And indeed, they do give the Falcons that extra yard on the forward progress. First down, Frontier. Falcons going again with Suzuki under center. Two receivers left, one to the right. Motion man. They roll to the left. Looking downfield. Fires near sideline and over the head of the intended target that time. And it's going to be second down. That time, just a little bit too much air underneath that throw. And he was looking for number 21, Sean Gallagher. Just couldn't connect. And it's second down. Clarence catching a bit of a break that time. He did have his man beat. But again, the throw just got a little bit away. On a second down and 10 here. Suzuki again going to line up under center. Single backfield. One receiver wide right. Again, the motion man handoff right side. And it's a fake. A nice play to the far sideline across the 40. And they scamper out across the 41 or 42. That'll be a pickup of six. Nice design fake. As that time for the Falcons coming around, it was Vinny Monaco. Originally looked like they went up the middle. Instead, they flipped it out to the far side and got a nice skate. On a third down and four. Again, Suzuki going to go from under center. Meanwhile, Clarence showing blitz as they bring up five to the line this time. Hand off up the gut, and they will pile their way forward up across the 45. An ankle tackle made there, and it looks like it's going to be enough to move the chains. And indeed it will with nine and a half to go here in the opening quarter, and no score still between Frontier and Clarence. John Kruber taking you through this one. Falcons on the move, down the field right to left. Suzuki again going to go from under center. Two receivers right, two bunch to the left. Again in motion, Suzuki with the snap, looking, pumps, fires far side, and again, that's airmail right over the receiver's head, incomplete. That time trying to hit Austin Lippert, but couldn't connect with them, and it's a second down and 10. You kind of can see Frontier's offensive game plan here a little bit. They like to start out with the run, 
and then try to throw a little bit of a surprise pass in there. But so far to this point, 0 for 2 for Suzuki. Again, clock stopped. We come up on nine minutes to go here in this opening quarter and still scoreless. Suzuki again from under center. Dual backfield, one receiver either side of the formation. And now they play fake at left side, thrown and intercepted. It's hand. He's at the 35, and he's wide open. He's going to take it to the end zone. Pick six. Touchdown, Clarence. And that was Colin Hand, an off-balance, ill-advised throw by Suzuki. And Hand was right there to pick it off. Race to the end zone, and Clarence strikes first. And that's exactly how you want to start off the game if you're the Red Devils for Frontier. Again, they tried to force a pass in there. There was just nobody home. And Hand picked it off, jumped the route, and Clarence does get the opening point to the game. A huge defensive play here so far early. So for the Red Devils now, 6-0 awaiting the extra point. It's going to be Hunter McCoskey. Extra point is up and straight through the uprights. It is good. So Clarence does strike first here thanks to a 45-yard pick six return and touchdown by Colin Hand. And Clarence does lead it 7 to nothing right now over Frontier and will step aside. Back here inside Clarence High School with exactly eight minutes left to go. Opening quarter. Clarence with a 7-0 lead over the Frontier Falcons. And if you're just tuning in, that's in large part thanks to a 45-yard pick six by Colin Hand. And again, with exactly eight minutes to go in the first, it's Clarence 7 and Frontier no score. So we'll see how the Falcons bounce back from the early setback on the opening possession. The thing for the Falcons is they were moving the football. They got a couple first downs on that drive. And then for to have that turnover lead to six, we'll see how they bounce back from this. McCoskey set to kick this away for the Red Devils. Downfield, left to right. Kick is in the air, and that's a good-looking kick straight down the middle of the field. Frontier near side across the 15, up to the 20, and then wrapped up, and the ball comes loose. And Clarence thinks they have it, and they do! Another giveaway here by the Falcons. A sloppy one along the near sideline, and it's Clarence with the recovery. That's another killer for the Falcons. Looked like they were going to get a decent return, and the ball gets popped out. And give the Red Devils credit. They're right there to jump on it. Clarence first down and set up again. Already up by seven. Looking for more. First and ten deep in Frontier territory. Now the Frontier defense is going to need to come up big after that special teams gaff. Meanwhile, for the Red Devils, they're going to go with a shotgun max protect. One receiver wide left. Left to right, they'll hand it off up the middle. Norton gets the carry, and he'll fight his way forward. Pick up of about three that time, and it'll be second and seven. Seven and a half to go opening quarter. Clarence already with a 7 nothing lead. Again, thanks to that special teams fumble, once more deep in frontier territory. For Clarence, they do on offense like to give it to Zach Norton a lot. He had a couple of touchdowns in their season opening win, and he got that last handoff. Once again, shotgun match protect. Norton again has it across the 25, still on his feet up to the 20, and dives out close to the frontier 15-yard line. We'll see if that'll be enough to move the sticks. But either way, Clarence continues on this possession. Once more, we come up now inside. Seven minutes left to go. Clarence 7 to nothing over the Falcons. Meanwhile, Garrett White breaks the huddle for the third straight play. Shotgun Max protect. Norton in the backfield. One receiver wide left. And now we get a whistle here. And it's going to be a false start call against the Red Devils. So it's going to be a five-yard penalty against them. A little bit of a break for the Falcons. Now, one thing for Frontier, they are very good in the red zone. They have the third-ranked red zone defense so far this season in Section 6. We'll see if it can stand up to the test here. White again going to take it. He's got two receivers flanking him either side. Shotgun max protect. Norton alone back. The snap. Hand off left side. Norton dashing across the 15. 
and he'll fight his way forward to about the frontier 14-yard line. Gang tackled there. For the Red Devils, keeping a look this drive alive. Norton on the season already has a couple of touchdowns. It has been very good. Even though last week he did not score a touchdown, he did still rush for 90 yards in the game. Second down here for Clarence. They're going to go out of the shotgun max protect for the third time in four plays. White takes the snap. Hand off up the middle. Norton, there he goes across the 10, and he cuts his way forward up to the 5. That was a nice fake, and then he's finally tackled in the open field. So for Clarence, they're inching closer to that goal line, and they're going to be set up first down and goal. Clock continues to move here, 6.52 to go. In the opening quarter, Clarence 7, and Frontier no score. White from under center. Norton the lone back, and now they flip it. Near side, nice move, taking it forward up across the Frontier 2-yard line, and a touchdown saving tackle made that time. And that was going to be recorded by number 61, Nathan Kaiser. Boy, if he didn't take him, that would have been a walk-in touchdown. But Clarence now a second and goal from the Frontier 2-yard line. Ball placed on the left hash. White going to go under center. The snap, and that's a fake. They give it off to Norton, who takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Clarence. Norton took it up the right tackle. Great blocking there by the Red Devils up front. And quickly, two touchdowns in the span of a minute and 40 seconds. And with 6.20 to go here in the opening quarter, Clarence 13, Frontier, no score. Red Devils making the Falcons pay for their sloppy mistakes early. For Clarence to take the extra point, it's going to be McCoskey. And it is up. It is picture perfect. And again, 6.20 to go here opening quarter. Our score, Clarence 14 and Frontier no score. So the Falcons really need to get a handle on this or this could get away from them early. We'll step aside. 6.20 to go in the first. Clarence 14, Frontier no score. Back here at Clarence High School as we have 6.20 to go. Opening quarter, Clarence 14, Frontier no score. If you're just tuning in, Clarence got a 45-yard pick six by Colin Hand. That was the first touchdown in the game. And then a second one after Frontier fumbled away that ensuing kickoff. Clarence took advantage, went right down the field 22 yards, and Zach Norton capped it off with a four-yard touchdown run. And that's where we stand right now. 6.20 to go in the first. Clarence 14 and Frontier no score. McCoskey going to boot it down the near side. Frontier fields across the 15 up to the 20 and gets stood up right away across the 25. Nice job by Clarence to wrap him up there. And that's where Frontier will take over. First and 10 from their own 25-yard line. So for the Falcons, really the story has been turnovers. They've turned it over two times here in the opening quarter, and both times have resulted in touchdowns for the Red Devils. So for the Falcons, they've got to forget about what has happened. They have done a couple of good things. They've picked up a couple first downs on that first drive. They need to get back to that, simplify it, because right now they're looking at a 14-0 haul. For the Falcons, they're going to go with Suzuki under center. One receiver to the left, one tight to the right. They put him in motion, and then they fake the give far side and nowhere to go for Suzuki. Doesn't even get back to the line. Suzuki is drilled there. Great job by Clarence defensively, and it'll be second and long. Suzuki trying to go for a little bit of trickery far side, but again, we mentioned that the Clarence linebacking core is ferocious, and they were right there for a loss of a couple on the play. After that, it'll be about second and 13, from the Frontier 22, Suzuki again is going to operate this time with a single back, two receivers right, one wide left. The snap, and now they pitch it off far side across the 25, and then he gets tackled there in the open field to the far sideline across the Frontier 27-yard line. That's a nice play, but it looks like there was a flag on that play, and we'll wait and see here. Again, we have five and a half to go opening quarter, and Clarence up by two touchdowns. 
And indeed, we had a holding call against the Falcons, so this is going to back them up even further. Boy, not an ideal start to this drive if you're Frontier at all. Already down 14. Now they're looking at a second and very long and pinned back deep in their own territory. Suzuki going to go from under center. One in the backfield, two right, one left. The snap and nowhere to go as they get pounded and the ball came loose. And did Clarence fall on it? Yes, they did. They take over at the Frontier 10-yard line. That was a botched play all the way around by the Falcons. They couldn't control the handle. And Clarence was able to jump right on top of it. So for Frontier, we know what the culprit has been. Now three turnovers here in the opening quarter. And Clarence is set up up by 14 First and 10 deep in Frontier territory. That one really stings for the Falcons. So Clarence going to break the huddle. They got it first and 10 at the Frontier 9. And now they'll fake the gift straight up the middle for Norton. And he will fight his way down to about the Frontier 3-yard line. And it'll be second down and goal. But give credit to the Red Devils on that last play. They were all over it defensively. The ball came loose. And again... We're able to recover. And that was Julius Perry who forced it out, and Scott Raymond got the recovery. Snap up the middle, and Raymond's going to take it across the goal line into the end zone. He goes, touchdown, Red Devils. And for Clarence with 4.42 to go in the opening quarter, our score now Clarence 20 and Frontier no score. Again, if you get too cute with the football and you make the turnovers, if you do it to a team like this, they're going to make you pay for it, and that's exactly what happened. Now three turnovers have resulted in 20 points as the extra point is up, and it is good. So for Clarence, a picture-perfect start. 21-0 Red Devils our score here late in the first as we have 437 to go in the first. Clarence 21 Frontier, no score. We'll be back right after this. We welcome you back here to Clarence High School as we have 427 to go in the opening quarter. Clarence with a 21-0 lead off of three Frontier turnovers, 21 points. But you got to give Clarence credit. They have capitalized. Zach Norton has taken them to task for two touchdowns and Colin Hand with a 45-yard pick six. So for the Red Devils, again, they've just done a good job of taking advantage of the opportunities that Frontier has given them. So give them credit as they're trying to bounce back, and they're doing it in a good way so far as they're coming off that 21-0 loss to Orchard Park last time out. Well, they've brought their A game so far here tonight. McCoskey set to kick this one away for the Red Devils down the field left to right, and the kick is in the air. Down the middle of the field, end over end kick, and that is going to bounce out of the near side, back of the end zone, and this will be a touchback. So for Frontier, now they're still down 21-0 after a couple turnovers, but when they've had the ball, they've done good things with it. They've gotten a couple first downs, but they have to find a way to start just building something positive. They're down by three scores. Still plenty of time left, though. We'll see what Frontier and head coach Rich Gray has in store. 21-0 Clarence, our score with four and a half to go, opening quarter. Falcons from right to left. Suzuki from under center. Tight formation with five spread out, three to left, two right. Snap, and they fake the give. Up the near side it goes, and that'll be a pickup of about four on the play. That time Carter got the carry, but nowhere really to run other than a couple of yards there, and it'll be second and seven. For Frontier, you'll wonder if they're going to really start to go to the air game now. Down by three scores this early, there's still time to make a comeback, but you wonder if they're going to change up their game plan a little bit. Suzuki from under center, three receivers left, and a single one out to the right. Man in motion, and now they pitch it around the near side to the 25, takes it up close to the 30, and they'll get knocked down there at about the Frontier 29-yard line. Great job by Colin Hand, who had that pick six to open the scoring. He got over there along the near side, did a nice job containing him before he gained too many yards on the play. And this will bring a third down and about six here for the Falcons. 
Again, coming to you from Clarence High School here tonight. 21 nothing rather, Red Devils over the Falcons. Suzuki from under center, and he'll hand it off straight up the middle, and there he goes. He's got Ruddy Roo across the 35, up to the 40, still on his feet, and finally taken down at the open field and around the frontier 43-yard line. That's going to be a nice 19-yard pickup that time for the Falcons. And it'll move the chains. That's the type of play Frontier needs to start having more of. Just a nice play right up the middle. It was simple. And they held on to the football. And now they get a fresh set of downs. So this is the type of thing that Frontier needs. Maybe gives them a little bit of a shot in the arm. Suzuki going to line up from under center. One receiver spread out wide right. Backs in the split eye off center. The snap. And Suzuki takes it himself, far side, across the 50, into Clarence territory, 45, still going across the 40, and finally taken out of bounds all the way down to the Clarence 35-yard line. That's going to be a pickup of about 24 on the play, and another first down frontier. So they get first downs on two of their last three plays. Now Frontier's starting to generate some of the positive momentum that they need, down by three scores. But give the Falcons credit, doing a nice job along the offensive line so far on the drive. Suzuki going to go from under center. One receiver wide left. Man in motion. Suzuki again with the keeper straight up the middle. He'll scramble near side across the Clarence 38. That'll be a pickup of three on the play. That time there to bring him down, it was Antoine Walker as it'll be second and seven. Clock continues to roll. We come up inside 2.20 to go in the opening quarter. Clarence 21. Frontier no score, but the Falcons are on the march. Downfield right to left. Suzuki going to lead his team out of the huddle. He goes with one receiver wide right. Five down lineman for Clarence. And now Suzuki will hand it off up the middle for Carter across the 35. And had a lane. Got up to about the 32. And he'll pick up about three on the play. So for Frontier, you still see that they're trying to hit the Clarence defense with a steady diet of runs. They're really not changing it all that much. Even being down by a couple of touchdowns, the Falcons still like to go to Carter a lot, and that's already his sixth carry on the game. Suzuki again breaks the huddle. Inside two minutes to go now from Clarence. Beautiful night for football here in Clarence, New York, and our score, Red Devils 21, Falcons no score. Frontier right to left. Suzuki from under center, he'll give it off far side, breaks a tackle right at the line of scrimmage, dives his way forward as that was Vinny Monaco, and that'll be a pickup of about four on the play. That was a good job by Monaco to just create something on that play. It would have been easy to just go down. He was met at the point of attack immediately by two or three different Clarence defenders, but he kept his way fighting forward and now brings up third and short. So a big play here as they're going to go with Suzuki under center. The snap, the handoff far sideline, up across the 25, still going, and is brought down at around the 22-yard line of the Red Devils as the drive stays alive for the Falcons. That'll be a pickup of eight on the HB draw to the far side. Finally taken down there, and that was by number 44, Jason Sage. And it looks like that is going to be the final play of the first quarter, and it is. So for the Falcons, they're on the move. First and 10 from the Clarence 24, Frontiers football when we come back. Again, your score after one, Clarence 21, Frontier no score. <laughs> 